Hey, what's up, Wolfpack? Hope you're all having an amazing day and an amazing week. Today's episode on Wolf Millionaire's free YouTube channel is a student success story review, one of the largest barbecue accounts on Instagram. Over 150,000 followers um, is just absolutely killing it. And I wanna bring you a quick detailed analysis of what he's doing right and what he might be able to improve on. So let's walk through barbecue.nation, that is the account. I just launched a blog post also going over all of what I'm going to explain to you here in this video. Uh, but this video also contains a uh, follower analysis that my blog post doesn't. So again, please subscribe and uh, make sure if you have any questions to drop me a comment. Uh, I do my best to uh, review all the comments and answer them in a timely fashion. And if you have not yet downloaded my free 35 page Instagram guide, make sure you go to wolfmillionaire.com, sign up for my free Wolf Millionaire webinar. I'll walk you through nine different ways you could be making money with Instagram. The best part is you don't have to have a business product or service. When you're done watching the entire webinar, I will personally email you a link to my free 35 page Instagram guide. Now, let's get on with the show. Let me walk you through this account. I'm super pumped to be able to show you this. And where are we here? Here is Barbecue Nation's Instagram account. And as you can see, it's an Instagram account um, in the food niche and in the sub niche of barbecue. Who doesn't love barbecue? I literally am going to go and have a barbecue burger or some barbecue meat tonight because just looking at this is making my mouth water and drool. Um, the photos and the posts on this account are top quality, top notch. As you can just see, uh, the engagement is, is fantastic for 158,000 followers, um, 4,000, 3,000, 2,000. I'm surprised Salt Bay's post, post only got 2,000. Um, bacon, 2,000. Burgers, 4,000. And ooh, this one got 7,000. Really, really nice work. And so the content is on point. And remember, content is king. It's most important that you have the best looking content, the highest quality content. People's phones are getting better and better. So we have to make sure that the quality of the content, the photos and the videos are top shelf. Now, let me bring up the blog post for this. Um, and let's walk through this account case study. And again, I'll have the link below this um, for the blog post if you wanna go through it and just kind of read the finer print um, that I walked through, but I'll do my best to walk you through it on this video. Um, this is the video that I'm actually talking to and referring to in my blog and will be embedded right below here. So let's take a look at Barbecue Nation's bio. Remember, bar your, your bio is your gateway to tell new followers what your account is all about. And it's very, very, very important for you to optimize it also so that people can find you. So two things here. One, this is a barbecue account. So there's no doubt uh, in my mind as to why this account should not start with BBQ. You want to make sure that the keyword you're trying to rank for or the search term that you're trying to rank for. So I example what your account is about should always be the first word in your Instagram username. You should try not to use more than one or two dots and you should never use a combination of underscores and dots. Either stick to underscores or stick to dots. There's nothing I can't stand seeing more than people's usernames that use dots and underscores. It's a mess, it looks unprofessional, don't do it. Now, as we can see here, a nice simple profile photo, Barbecue Nation in nice and bold. Remember, keep it simple guys. The people want to see and remember your account in a very simple way, and that's very effective through using a very simple profile photo. Keep it to only like two or three colors. Keep it simple, keep it bold, keep it big, just like Barbecue Nation. Remember, when we see people's um, profile pictures in our feed, it's gonna be very small. And so if you have some design that looks cool at this size, like on your computer, it's gonna look like shit on people's phones and people aren't gonna recognize it. So that's where branding is so essential and so effective on social media, is you can burn this logo into people's heads and keep it super simple so that when they see that in their feed, they automatically recognize your account and are more apt to give you love. Lots of likes, lots of comments, remember that. The next thing is this field here. This is your name field and you get to that by editing your profile, okay? It's limited to like 30 or 32 some characters I think. This also needs to have your keyword. You can see right here, BBQ Nation. The call to action also is right in the username. Join the BBQ Nation. Very nice work using two emojis, chicken bone or chicken wing and uh, a meat bone. 
amazing. This is this is amazing. This is, I love seeing students who have fun with their accounts uh, and use the full range to really captivate people. As you can see, this community tag here, this is because the student has enabled um, Instagram business profile. That's in your settings. I have a blog post and I've also linked to that. I've put a link to it. Where have I put a link to that? Right here, Instagram business profile secrets, just below this image in my blog. So make sure you click through it and read it and uh, also read through the community building on Instagram. Everything in here that I link to, I link to for a reason and it's to help you dive into Instagram and become better. So make use of all my free information. Now, what else do we have? We have the simple bio right here. Um, you know, some, emo some emojis using, uh, only the best barbecue of Instagram, tag barbecue nation. Tag barbecue nation on your best barbecue picks to be featured. Yes, see, branding right there. Triple branding, quadruple branding. Barbecue nation username, barbecue nation in the uh, profile photo. Barbecue nation in the username, barbecue nation in the bio. And of course, barbecue nation hashtag. You gotta have your own hashtag, guys. That is one of the easiest ways for you to get people to start noticing your brand and uh, engaging with your brand is to tell people to tag Barbecue Nation on your best barbecue picks to be featured. Yes. Now, this email down here, this is uh, an option when you turn on your business profile uh, account, which is also in your Instagram settings for your account. It allows you to put in an address, a telephone number, and an email. When you're prompted to do so, you only have to put in the email as the very base uh, piece of information. So you don't have to put an address and you don't have to put your phone number, just leave them blank and hit next. The email, remember guys, if you are new to Instagram, please, please, please go and read my free 30 page um, Instagram guide. It has a link in it to show you how to lock down your Instagram account and in it, you'll read why you never, ever, ever want to use your email account that you registered your Instagram account here in your profile. Hell, you don't want to use that email address that you use to register your Instagram account anywhere on the web. And there's a reason for that. Make sure you go read my 35 page Instagram guide or my top hacking answers on my blog for the reason why. And if you don't, well, you're going to run the chance of having your account hacked. You've been warned. So now that we have the bio username, this is kind of the essentials. And people think it's so, so stupid and so simple. It is so simple, but it's an absolute must that you master that and you get that down right. Now, what else do we have here? As we can see, their Instagram growth curve, nice and simple, nice and sleep, nice and constant. Nice work, guys. Captions. Captions are also very important. As you can see here, let me just remind you, see how Barbecue Nation looks nice? As we shrink it down to the top of the post, it shows up very bold. You can kind of really relate to it and see it and it burns it in your mind. Very effective branding. This is a, a post on their account and I just want to quickly show you the caption. Um, Happy Sunday. That's it with the fire emoji. From at TC Cannonball. So he got this photo from this account. He uses the account This Is Barbecue, probably a popular hashtag in his account, um, and Barbecue Nation. And again, 23 comments. Nice work, dude. Instagram engagement on fire here. As we saw, this post here did 3,000 likes. Down here, this post that I highlighted up at the beginning, 7,000 likes, more than double, and almost 200 comments. How did he do this? Really simple, by asking an open-ended question. Right here, describe this picture in one word. Again, gives credit, great pick from Hoodoo Brown BBQ. Nice fucking work, dude. That's how you do it, and that is what Instagram wants to see, people engaging and interacting with your content. And so keep it clean and keep it simple, and don't be one of those fucking accounts that uh, puts in your caption, you know, comment some stupid word letter by letter, okay? That is absolute garbage tactics. Instagram knows that it's garbage tactic and it's going to hurt your account, so don't do that. Also, do not put in your caption, follow Barbecue Nation. So he doesn't have in his account, follow Barbecue Nation. You shouldn't be doing that, guys, and there's a reason for that. And that reason I go over in my Instagram course. So make sure you don't do it. It's harming your account. 
Uh, also, I linked to credit and copyright rules. Super, super important secret growth strategy. This student is doing it right. You know, a great pick. Not just photo buy, great pick, amazing pick. Give people props if you're using their content. There's a reason why you're using their content. It's probably because it's better than yours or because it's relevant to your brand or your, um, your followers. So make sure you give kudos. People love a little pat on the back when they've got great, great content. It goes a long, long way. See here, this was the post from above that I just scanned through the comments. This was who he gave picture photo credit to for this post and they commented, thank you. This is, this is why it's so essential to give proper credits. The owner now knows about Barbecue Nation, is probably following Barbecue Nation and has commented and probably will engage on future posts. That's how you grow a really tight community, a tight brand and a Instagram account that will convert and make money. That is the absolute cornerstone of becoming an Instagram influencer. So here's some tips, guys. Okay, this is some absolute tips for this account. One, this student should be engaging and responding to more followers when they leave comments. Not just emojis, not just one word answers, full on thank you for your comment uh, or responding to whatever comments um, their followers have left in their, in their post. And if you want to see what that should look like, go to my Wolf Millionaire account and go look at me. I do my best to respond to every single comment that is left on my account and it's super important. People want to feel connected to the people that they're following and that's one way you can be doing it in a positive and motivating way. Number two, the student should be posting more frequently to grow his account even faster. Uh, by the looks of it, this student posts maybe once a week, maybe two or three times a week on the same day. You really need to space it out. You really need to be consistent, guys. You really need to post a minimum of one post a day. It has to do that. Otherwise, you will be steamrolled by other people in your niche. Now, if you can't or you don't have the content to do once a, once, a, once a day, then try to do two or three a day as long as it's consistent. Don't go a week without posting. Don't go weeks without posting and then one week post three to five photos. Instagram algorithm wants to see consistency. Your followers want to see consistency. So please make sure you do that. The student should also be using my hashtags for growth strategy. I've linked to that here. And they should be posting to Instagram stories. Now, I haven't really monitored the account, so it's possible that I have just missed some of their Instagram stories posts. <clears throat> but if they are, I hope they're using my stories hashtag hacking secrets to get your stories uh, discovered by Instagram's new Instagram story discovery algorithm. Yep, you want to make sure you're using those. Next up, tagging the photographer or owner of the content that you're reposting in the actual photo, not just giving credits in the caption. So yes, giving credit in the caption is amazing, but what is absolutely even better, not just for you know giving proper credits, but for your strategy, is tagging that person whose photo it is owned or taken by. Not the account where you stole it from, who actually took the photo. And if you don't know, you shouldn't be using their photo. End of story. Um, and then finally, tagging other accounts. Remember, there's a science to this, okay? You don't just randomly tag the biggest accounts or accounts that you uh, associate with because those accounts might not see your content. You have to go through and selectively tag other accounts in your posts, okay? And you can't do the same ones over and over and over. Instagram doesn't like that. They see that as spam. So be selective, be random. Tag two or three different accounts in your posts that are relevant to your posts and make sure they have their ability um, or those accounts that you're tagging have um, not disabled the tagging feature. Some accounts can disable the tagging. So if you tag them, um, you might be able to tag them in the photo, but that photo that you've tagged them in will not show on their account under photos that um, people have tagged to them. Okay. And big brands do that. So you got to do your research on that. Anyways, that's it. That's my review, guys. Oh, no, we got the other special thing. That's right. Um, what did I want to go over? What did I want to go over? Oh, right. This is the bonus of why you're watching my YouTube video. Yes, this is something that I didn't have in my blog. Um, so here we go. This is a, an Instagram kind of audit tool. I go over it in my blog. Let me see. Where is it? Here's my blog, blog.wolfmillionaire.com. If you're curious, I do one to two blog posts a week um, from everything to um, you know make you aware of new scams, highlight my students, 
um, how to audit Instagram accounts. This is what I'm going to show you right now. Make sure you go and check this out. You'd be surprised at some of the accounts that have really shitty, poor um, Instagram ratings according to this to this uh, this this site that I'm using, uh, including the accounts that I busted like Nuxury and Lux All Day. Complete garbage accounts. You can see by their poor rating down here, which is in line with you know what I manually can tell about their account. I've got the essential Instagram tools, all the little things that I use as an Instagram influencer from tripods to uh, Bluetooth uh, activations to monopods to little audio devices to mounts for your car, uh, my new favorite apps, Instagram versus Facebook, you get the point. So this is, I'm going to walk you through how I audit accounts and this is a little tool that I use to just show you graphically. I do this now manually and I've taught all my students how to do it and in my past blog post where I walk you through all the different ways I can call out someone who's scamming or buying fake followers or using fake likes or using bots to comment. I can show you literally step by step in my blogs how to um, how to figure that out. This little um, program right here shows kind of everything that I do manually but in a kind of automatic way. And you know, while this is something that I use to look at, it kind of should be used with a grain of salt. But it's a good indication if you see someone's account who's you know rated poor versus good um, to give you a sense of you know are they cheating uh, or do they have really good followers. So let's take a look at Barbecue Nation: 515 posts, 158,000 followers, engagement rate 1.7. Very nice, guys. As a result, we have a 77 out of 100 rating. That is really good. That's really, really good. And as we can see, the demographics, super, super healthy. This is how it kind of should look. A nice, healthy USA following, 35%. If you see India or Russia or some other shit kicker country, no offense, um, that really doesn't convert well. And unfortunately, for those of us in North America, anything outside of uh, USA and Canada and Europe or the UK tend to not convert well. Australia converts well, Germany not so much, Italy not so much, Brazil and South America absolutely not, India doesn't buy shit. Um, and so when you find an account that has a massive following in India, there's a high, high chance that, um, that they've been buying followers. Okay, and so the audience type here, just a rough breakdown, you know, on the whole, it shows that it's got, you know, a healthy, real people following, um, a low influencer following, which could be better, low mass following, uh, suspicious accounts also low. Here it shows that the core demographic is male. Uh, it shows the follower reachability, which is uh, average, which is great. Follower quality, good. And uh, again, it shows the graph of followers following. We can see it went for a period of stagnation and some growth. And I'm not sure why all this was flat for uh, what it looks like here. What are we, February 12 to March 4. So like mm, three weeks where this number of the followers doesn't really change. And I'm not sure why that is because if I go look at their social blade, they definitely were growing. So maybe this is a little glitch in this little system, but who cares? Engagement, again, average likes 2.7, average comments 28, so engagement rate 1.7%. That's good. Nice work, dude. Very nice work. And down here, you can see, oh, this is new language. This is really fantastic. This is new from the last time I looked at uh, these reports. Um, it shows the, the language, right? So English, 66% is English. Look at this, Spanish, 8%. Portuguese, German, Italian. Very interesting stats, guys. You know, uh, for the most part, English is the predominant language on uh, on Instagram, and so using English is a no-brainer. And other people who look at your content from different countries have that kind of translate feature built in, so don't really worry about having to, you know, do two different languages. Like I do see some people translating in their in their captions. It's fucking useless because Instagram will translate it for you. Um, so, you know, if you had a, a higher Spanish concentration, that might indicate that, hey, like maybe I should, you know, do some Spanish stuff and test that out. Um, here's the engagement by type. Everything is looking in, in the green, so it's, it's fantastic. The like spread. Uh, again, like spread is, let's read this here, is the difference, at, difference in number of likes between posts. If the spread is too low, it might indicate that a blogger has paid for artificial likes, which means the spread. So if you had... 10 photos on your account and all of them got, you know, 100 likes or a thousand likes, that spread, that variability, the difference between them is very low. Okay. 
Um, normally, it says, normally followers like some posts more than others. That's why it's suspicious of all posts have the same amount of likes. So, you know, again, my Wolf Millionaire account is a great example. Some posts that I do, which I think are going to kill it, get 2,000 or 2,500 likes. And some posts that, you know, I'm like, yeah, they should do good, get 4,000 or 5,000 likes. And that kind of spread is, that's normal. Not everyone's going to love your shit. And if you go look at the celebrities, same thing. Some of them get like, you know, 100,000 on one post and 200,000 on the next, right? So that difference, that diff that that spread is healthy, okay? Uh, and here we have the likes to comment ratio also uh, uh, rated as good. It receives one comment per 100 likes. Similar, similar accounts receive 1.1 comments per likes. And that's it. Very nice work, Barbecue Nation. I'm extremely proud of your your success um, and your growth. Can keep it up. Just please keep posting on a regular basis, and uh, you will be good to go. That's all there is, guys. This has uh, been an awesome, very short episode. Uh, hopefully, you have learned something. And uh, if you have any questions, drop me a comment uh, below. Until the next episode, guys. Cheers. Keep on doing your best with Instagram.